Hey, I wasn't planning on making a video or anything like that, so this is going to be just a quickie to show you something I uh, stumbled upon while I was working here with KiCad. So if you use KiCad and uh, you don't know about this, you might think it's pretty cool. So let's go to that computer. Okay, so uh, I'm working on this thing and we're basically at layout now. So let's check out the PCB and <laughs> colors. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Uh, well, so I had no idea you could do this. Uh, of course, I always assign net classes to uh, all the various things uh, just to be able to set default widths and all that stuff. But uh, look at this. So uh, I'm just exploring around. Uh, recently installed a new version of KiCad. So uh, maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. Maybe I just don't have any friends to tell me all this stuff. But <laughs> the point is, uh, so I'm looking at this stuff and I stumble upon the nets. Now the nets here is basically all the uh, net classes that I defined. And look at that, you can basically override the uh, colors for any one of them. You can set the opacity value, just regular color stuff. But the point is, once that's done, you can actually see everything that's going on. Instead of looking for stuff, you have a global view of everything that's going on. So you can see I've got these uh, USB differential pairs that I have to root first, and then uh, there's some high speed, well, high speed ish uh, stuff going over here. So that's going to kind of take some precedence. There's a lot of power. You can tell I put all the power here uh, purple and I kind of did the ground because that's easy to connect because there's ground planes everywhere. So I put that a little darker. Now the way I've got it set up, uh, you basically can do, uh, okay, let's do this USB pair here. Let's do this one here. Eh. Okay. Look at that. So they're their own color and then I'll do him. And okay, look at that, he's purple. So uh, they all match up. So these three here are in the same net class, but the data sheet was all stressed out about the, the clock signal. So I, uh, what I did was I basically set it up so that, okay, the net class by default for all these guys, the, the, the SIM card or whatever, this is yellow, but you can actually come in here and override any of them for uh, whatever you need. So. By default, if nothing happens, then these guys will be yellow. Otherwise, well, Mr. Stressful Clock here, well, he's 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 stressful orange. So there you go. Uh, that's pretty cool. The only disadvantage I've found so far is uh, maybe this. If I put in the fills, well, okay, that's nice. So ground is purple. Yeah, we know that. Well, here I go. I'm on the top layer. Uh, yeah. Uh, second. Third. Oh, purple, purple, purple. You can't tell anything. So you don't have to leave it on all the time. Uh, you uh, you can just have the ratness specified like that, or you can just say, okay, forget it. Let's go back to normal. But uh, the point is it's kind of up to you. So I'm going to wire this up right quick, see how that goes and get back to you when I'm done with kind of my impressions, see if it's worth it really. But uh, so far, <laughs> I'm thrilled. Three weeks later. Oof. <laughs> nah, actually that went quite well. I used the net display colors pretty much throughout the routing and it was good. If you look at the board using normal highlighting, you can see the traces but can't catch what's what or what's important all that easily. With the colors enabled, what a difference. I can see important things like control Z, differential pairs, critical and high speed traces, what's power, all of it in a second. I like it a lot. This is going to be really useful when I'm working on a more complex board. Now for some downsides. Wires aren't color by layer, which is the point, but it can get confusing and make things look like there are collisions when there aren't any. Switching layers brings things to the top, but it's really hard to grok in this riot of colors. This problem pretty much goes away with highlighting the active layer, and while you're routing, your traces take on the color of the layer, which is a nice touch. Another thing is the net names. On bright colors, they can be impossible to see everywhere but on top of vias, whereas with the standard setup, they're always visible. I found no way to fix this, but I like the bright colors. We'll see how that evolves. Then there's the rat's nest. I was comparing between normal and net colors, and that's when I noticed three unconnected pads. Now, depending on your palette, uh, the rat's nest wires can be harder to see when colored. I use the DRC unconnected items thing, but I only turn to that uh, towards the end. In the meantime, I sometimes go to objects and just click, click, click uh, the rat's nest visibility, creating the poor man's blinky, which is the quickest way of finding them that I know of. If you have a better way for this or any of this stuff, please tell me. Finally, the main pain point was a bit of crashing. 
It only happened when I was routing differential pairs and going a little crazy with the mouse, but since I'd started with those, things began a little rough. But after that, the problem never recurred, even though I was saving every change like a madman just in case. So that's it, another sweet tool for your kit from KiCad. By the way, this was with version 6.0.11, which I upgraded recently. Side note, while I was doing that, I noticed they were still running the 2022 fun drive, and it had been a while, so I made a little donation, and you might consider doing so too, because Wow, Kikad, this whole system is great. Amazing work. Thanks, guys. Anyhow, that's it. I hope you were as wowed as I was and that this news is useful to you. Happy making. Cheers.